This tutorial will cover the basics of visualizing results with Gauss View. Topics include the calculation summary, atom and bond properties, an intrinsic reaction coordinate plot, frequencies, and anharmonic vibrational analysis. We start with a calculation summary for a completed calculation. We begin by selecting the file we wish to view. In this case, we ran an optimization plus frequency of FOX7 dimer. As we open the results file, we make sure that the Read Intermediate Geometries checkbox is selected so that all the optimization steps will be read. Otherwise, only the final step is loaded. Initially, the molecule group displays the optimized structure. We can click the up arrow in the view window to cycle through the optimization steps. Molecule 1 is the starting structure. As you can see, the two monomers are opposite one another in a configuration corresponding to the pattern of the solid polymer. Selecting the Results Summary menu option will open the Calculation Summary window. The Overview tab displays the basic information about the job, including the calculation type, model chemistry, and how long the job took to compute. The Calculation Summary's Opt tab shows information about the optimization step corresponding to the current structure. Selecting the Results Optimization menu item opens an energy plot of the optimization. Clicking on any step in the plot will display the corresponding structure in the view window, along with the data for that optimization step in the Opt tab. At step 55, we see that the maximum force and RMS force have converged, but the maximum displacement and RMS displacement have not. They do so in step 68. The Thermo tab is active for the converged structure in an optimization plus frequency calculation. The first item is the number of imaginary frequencies. In this case, it is zero, indicating that the structure is a minimum on the potential energy surface. This tab also reports various thermodynamic quantities, including zero point energy, thermal corrections to the energy, enthalpy, and Gibbs free energy. This data is present both as raw corrections as well as final values incorporating the correction. Gauss View can generate a visual display of atom and bond properties as calculated by Gaussian. We will examine the predicted atomic charges and dipole moment for methyloxorane. We've already opened the results file. We select Charge Distribution from the Results menu. The top section of the dialog controls atomic charge display. Clicking Show Numbers causes each atom to be labeled with its atomic charge. We can also color the atoms by charge with the second checkbox, with red indicating negative charge and green indicating positive charge. The exact numeric range is indicated in the color range fields, which can also be modified. The items on the Type drop-down menu control which type of predicted charges are displayed. The default is Mulliken charges. We also computed NBO charges during our calculation, and we can view them by selecting the corresponding item from the menu. The lower portion of the dialog reports the magnitude and XYZ components of the dipole moment. We select Show Vector in order to add it to the view window. The length and origin of the vector can also be adjusted if desired. Enabling Cartesian axes within the view window simplifies interpreting the dipole moment vector. For example, for this molecule, the vector points about two-thirds of the way from the x-axis to the y-axis and somewhat above the xy-plane. The Atom Properties dialog can display charges and other atomic properties in a similar way. Next, we will visualize the bond lengths using the Display Bond Properties dialog. As before, we check the Show Numbers and Show Colors checkboxes. The bond lengths are displayed over each bond in angstroms. Bonds can also be visualized by bond order. This section will demonstrate how to view results from an intrinsic reaction coordinate calculation. In this case, we computed the reaction path for an SN2 reaction. We have already opened our results file. 
Each step of the IRC corresponds to a molecule in the molecule group. By default, Gauss view first displays the transition structure. This transition structure is a transient species in which both the chlorine atom and one of the oxygen atoms in the acetate are weakly bonded to the ethylene. We can view a plot of the IRC results by selecting the Results IRC Path menu item. As with the optimization plot, when we click on points in the graph, the corresponding structure appears in the view window. We select the starting structure in the graph. When we click on the green button in the molecule view window, the IRC steps are animated, showing the reaction path from the reactants through the transition structure to the products. We can save this animation as an MP4 movie. The Gauss View Movie Preferences controls options for generated movies, such as whether or not the movie repeats and the delay between frames. We click the Save Movie button on the toolbar, selecting Save Movie File. We go on to specify the file type and file name. And finally, Gauss View generates and saves this movie. Gauss View can also be used to visualize vibrational frequency results. We have already opened the results file from a frequency calculation on formaldehyde. We select the Results Vibrations menu item to open the Vibrations dialog. This dialog reports the location and intensities of the predicted IR peaks, as well as any related quantities computed by the job. Clicking on the Spectra button will display a plot of the IR spectrum. The Start Animation button animates the selected vibrational mode in the view window. Clicking on a mode in either the Vibrations dialog or the Spectrum dialog changes all three displays. We stop the animation and then select the Show Displacement Vectors checkbox, which indicates the motion through vectors in the molecule display. The Show Dipole Derivative Unit Vector checkbox adds this vector to the display. We can save individual animations as a movie using the controls underneath the Vibrational Modes list. The Vibrations dialog can also be useful when an optimization located a transition structure rather than a minimum, as happened here with acetic acid. When we animate the mode corresponding to the imaginary frequency, we see that the motion is a methyl group rotation, indicating that the molecule wants to break CS symmetry. We need to displace the geometry in the direction of this mode and then start the new optimization. Gauss View can do this for you using the Manual Displacement feature. We check the box, move the slider to the right, and then click Save Structure. The modified structure opens in a new window. It can be used to set up and run the new optimization job. Gaussian has the ability to perform both harmonic and anharmonic analysis for vibrational frequencies and other spectral data. Gauss View can display both kinds of results. We previously ran an anharmonic frequency analysis for formaldehyde, and we have opened the results file. When we open the Vibrations dialog, an additional anharmonic tab is now available, along with the usual harmonic tab. The anharmonic tab lists all the modes predicted by the anharmonic frequency analysis, fundamental, overtone, and combination transitions. There is also a third tab, located between these two, which lists the anharmonic transitions involving the currently selected harmonic mode. By default, both harmonic and anharmonic spectra will be plotted when anharmonic results are available. You can select which spectra are visible using the checkboxes at the top of the window. Our next video will demonstrate visualizing Gaussian results as 3D surfaces and contours in Gauss view.